Hello, we are HairDryerSmart.com. In this video, we're going to show you the feature product of Bobbyless Pro Turmal and Titanium 3000 Dryer. The first thing you will notice about this very contemporary 1900 watt dryer is the rubberized finish. It feels good when you hold it, providing a more comfortable grip and reducing stress on the hand and wrist. The Turmal and Titanium technology emits millions of ions for incredible shine, and far infrared heat for faster drying and styling, which is easier on hair. 6 heat slash speed settings, a cold shot button, and a 9 foot long cord are other features that make this unique non-slip dryer a favorite of professionals. The hair dryer works with all types of hair right from fine, baby fine, thin hair, thick coarse hair, curly, curly kinky hair, long wavy hair. It is lightweight and quiet and has a beautiful 6 heat and speed combination. It is well balanced, making the drying of the back of the hair less tiresome. The first review, I should start by saying I bought this hair dryer in August of 2013 and have been using it almost every day for the last 3 years, and it has worked great. I have very long and thick hair, always leave the concentrator attachment on, and can dry my entire head in about 7 minutes, which is excellent. Some people have mentioned awkward button placement, but I have only accidentally hit a button while holding it less than 5 times in the last 3 years, so not a big deal. Also, the long cord is excellent. Anyhow, for a professional dryer that presumably you would use for hours a day at a hair salon, I'm surprised this happened when I only use it for 7 minutes a day. Again, it's been 3 years, and there's nothing else wrong, it functions fine, but I now need to replace it because I can't deal with a bloody looking hand every morning. I'll be replacing it with a $20 hair dryer so I won't be upset if I need to replace the next one after a couple of years. Last year, after moving once more, from a 220 volts country to the USA, I never actually bought a new hair dryer and was using my tiny travel dryer, where you can switch the volts, for around 8 months. I noticed how much worse my hair was getting. It was frizzy, it broke quickly, it split deeply, not just at the end, and of course, it took forever and a half to dry my hair with that tiny travel dryer. While it had been cheap and perfect for traveling, I realized it's not the most excellent choice to use regularly. Hence, I decided actually to invest some time into buying a new hair dryer. After researching, it seemed that there is not such a big difference between middle price dryers and expensive dryers but a big quality difference between cheap dryers and middle price dryers. And since I would just be using this dryer at home, it doesn't need to perform at saloon conditions, my hair stylists all said they would not trust Bob Ellis at their saloons, because they wouldn't be able to take the heat smile. That's why I went for this Bob Eyeless in the medium price range, I have the Bob Eyeless big hair brush and a waver and had great experiences with them. I was also interested in the tourmaline that's supposed to emit even more negative ions. It's warm, but not too hot, meaning that the risk of heat damage decreases, I use the hottest setting for most of the process, the cold hot shot button for the end to allow my hair to cool and my styling to settle. More importantly, it's light. Although I don't have to hold it for all that long, I do appreciate it if my appliances don't weigh too much. The noise level. While I don't find it excessively loud, it's not exactly what I would call quiet either. But then again, I am a bit sensitive when it comes to noise and is quickly leaning towards the it's too loud party. So I am not bothered by the noise, but I didn't use it and immediately think wow, this is exceptionally quiet, because it's relatively normal. I acknowledge that there are a few flaws and some room for improvement, but I am just so happy with the job it does that I don't care that I sometimes accidentally switch it off or that I can't firmly grip it around the middle of the handle. Whether this is what you need or if the flaws are something you can compromise on is based on your personal preference. Fourth review, Babyless was recommended to me by my hair stylist as a good hair dryer that comes close to a professional quality at a more reasonable price. She also said that they last longer than she dryers. I have not had it long enough to know if she's right on the longevity. But I love this dryer. Fifth review, yes, the paint faded. The paint did not come off as the pictures of the other purchasers did. It just faded. But my dryer is still performing just like the day I bought it. I dropped it a couple of years ago, and the outer screen on the back broke off, 
but the screen that is an integral part of the dryer is still excellent. I'd repurchase it. And will if and when this one finally dies. Use it about 2 to 3 times a week to dry my medium thickness hair and daily to heat my eyelash curler.